So this is going to be a reading for my cancers. This is going to be truths that you need to hear. And the purpose of this reading is to help clear up any current blockages, confusion, um, so you guys can get forward movement. So let's get into it. Of course, this is general, so only take what applies and leave the rest. If you want a personal, that information will be listed in the description. And make sure you guys use the code Spooky Season at checkout um, while booking a reading um, so you can get 40% off on your booking until October 15th. So that information will be below. And let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So cancers, um, first thing I want to get into, you guys, and I kind of said this for Pisces, which is interesting, but you guys do need to prioritize more rest. It's either some of you work a job where, you know, maybe you're always on call, whether that's being a nurse or what have you, or you work multiple jobs where you just don't have that much time to sleep. Um, that is understandable. But for others of you, it's more so a situation where like you just stay up late at night because there's a lot on your mind. Or you like take that time to just sit and try to process your whole life and <laughs> almost try to get it all figured out in the wee hours of the night when really and truly you're not going to have your whole life figured out in one night of, you know, overthinking. And that just tends to create energy where you, even though you may sleep a whole eight hours, you may wake up feeling like you didn't get enough sleep in the first place because of the fact that you had so much on your mind and so much distracting you and leaving you unsettled, okay? So if you have been going through issues with feeling upbeat or having energy for things, it may have a lot to do with that. Um, also, for my people who are on a temporary break from a spouse, a love interest, this is you guys needing to understand that with this break, this is giving you an opportunity to prioritize self where a lot of you have been more so focused on them solely that your life has been just pretty much a, a haze for a while now. Like some of you have been so wrapped up in a relationship, a connection that you kind of lost sight of your personal goals or you just haven't been as consistent or showing up as much as you'd like to. So now with this break, this is giving you an opportunity to realign your focus get a full understanding of what's next for you. And some of you may be kind of wasting uh, your energy and time by like just focusing and, and thinking about all the wrong things, you know, um, especially with the one, two, three, four, five of swords here. I didn't even realize that this was here. Um, this is like self-sabotage in some degree. Some of you struggle with allowing your mind to create a list of issues or problems with moves that you want to make before you even take action on them and all this does is leave you in a space of doubt or like feeling stuck almost and this is just a mental prison that we can sometimes trap ourselves in so this is being aware of when you do this and finding ways to redirect this energy okay um some of you also you can't help but to entertain someone who's slightly manipulative. And a lot of you already know that this person's manipulative. Like they've shown you manipulative qualities. And at this point, there's a need for you to make sure you guys don't keep falling victim to this manipulation. Hmm. Some of you, it's time for a new job, a new source of income, something that's going to sustain the bills and the responsibilities that you may have because you may be feeling like you're tight on money also some of you may be needing to like stay away from this mindset of thinking that like one day pennies are just gonna fall from the sky and stuff like that um because i feel like some of you are watching this in, or watch readings and it's like this energy of where's my abundance? Where's my abundance? But there's a need for you to understand that there's no such thing as overnight success. And there's no such thing as just money falling out the sky. Um, with the Ace of Coins, this points to physical energy being put into something and then something coming out of it. Okay. 
Hmm. Um, some of you also, you more so need to focus on the now instead of focusing your energy on the past. This is making sure you guys create some sort of routine, some sort of plan to keep yourself on, on schedule or, like I said, a routine so that you're not all over the place because some of you are, like, energy-wise, really all over the place, okay? Some of you need to focus on being centered in the now and being more patient. And aware of how, like, your impatience may be keeping you stagnant in the process as well, you know? Imagine a whole year of overthinking versus a year of doing and, and the difference in where that puts you. Now, with the Justice card, there's a need for you guys to have a different perspective on your life and the things that you're experiencing in order for you guys to have a level of balance in your life, um, there's a need for you guys to be like more self-aware in terms of actions or, or or reactions that you may put out there and how that may create imbalances in your life. Hmm. Also, with any type of reconciliations where some of you guys know you're going to get back in contact with this specific person, um, make sure that you're not reconciling yourself back into depression or toxicity, okay? Make sure you're surrounding yourself around like-minded like people instead of entertaining people who don't even go with the vibration that you're trying to attract, okay? Okay. Mean what you say, say what you mean. And some of you need to just aim higher in terms of your expectations in regards to love instead of playing it safe and allowing yourself to kind of like drift into situations that are way out of alignment with you. But this is what I see. I am going to stop the reading right here. I hope that you took something from this reading. If you did enjoy, of course, feel free to thumbs the video up, subscribe, all that jazz. Of course, if you want to get a reading, use the code spooky season at checkout and it's going to get you that 40% off until October 15th. So take advantage of that. I'll see you in the next one, Cancers.